everyone, it's Renee with Delaney Jane Cards. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a guest spot for Scrapping for Less. I'm hoping uh, you will enjoy my video. I made a Christmas card using this Your Next Stamp stamp set called Coffee Melt and the Echo Park My Favorite Christmas 6x6 six pad. Uh, the <laughs> the paper there, I have already used a piece. I keep all my scraps. Do you keep like all your white scraps, your Copic paper? This is just Nina. It's nothing like, uh, I think Express It is like the, the paper. But this is some Nina, and I try to keep as many scraps as I can because in a situation like this, I have plenty there for my card. So I stamped this snowman, and this was the first time I had ever stamped him. So I stamped him a few times just to make sure I had his lines nice and dark. And before I stamped him, I made sure that I was going to be able to cut out a circle um, out of the white, made sure I had enough space. So here for my snowman, I started coloring my white um, with a blue-violet combination. It's BV3431 and B60. And he definitely looks really blue here. Oh, I also went in with my colorless blender just to blend it out to white a little. I then moved on to my uh, black hat. I used my C markers for this. I did not go all the way to black, but I did go to C10, which is really dark. And I did lay down a lot of ink. I probably could have just blended through them once. Um, I was a little, I guess, heavy-handed with my ink, and it did bleed a little bit, and you'll see where that becomes problematic. <laughs> Here I used my um, colorless blender. I was trying to push it back in. I should have waited for the ink to completely dry before I started to fix my mistake. Um, I used some oranges here on his nose, some browns in the coffee, and then I started with my scarf, and you can see that black just oozing out the lines of his hat, but I just kept going because I didn't want to start over. I wasn't that far in, but I just didn't want to start over. So I used my reds there to blend out the red stripes on his scarf, and then I also did the red band on his hat, and I was still very sad about the hat. So I brought my colorless blender in and it it just blooped all over the place and I don't know what the deal was but I again wasn't smart enough to let it dry and I put more black color or gray color down which don't do that that was just a bad idea but here I decided to keep moving and I used my green combination to fill in the green stripes and I know that mug is probably supposed to be a snowman but I wanted the green to be in another place because uh, the red was on the hat. And then there my marker did it again. I I don't know what's going on with that colorless blender. We are not friends right now. So I tried to fix it again. And then I just was like, you know what? I will just white gel pen and, well, that that wasn't okay. I didn't like that either. But I didn't want to start over. So I was like, well... I'm going to put a background on here. So I brought out some blue markers, some B markers. And I took the darker marker around the edge of the snowman and then blended it out with a lighter blue. And these are pretty bold colors. Uh, they are kind of the same visually as that red and the green. So then I took that marker that and we were not friends and I kind of swirled it and dabbed it around in that blue and it worked just fine. It didn't bloop on my paper again and I don't know. I was reading somewhere, you know, that, that uh, you know how we always say, take the other cap off and blah, blah, blah. And somebody was like, well, that's a complete myth because Copics are not airtight. And you know what? That makes sense. So I didn't. I didn't take it off and it didn't do it a third time. But man, we, we had a big talk after this card was done. So here I was just laying out my papers that I had cut and die cut and make sure that I had everything that I wanted. And I laid my piece of, my negative piece for my banner in my Misty here so that I could line up my banner. And this banner is one of those dies that's solid. So I did my die cutting first. A lot of times, even with um, a die that's not solid, I'll die cut it first because I just feel like I can make sure I get it straight better. I, I, anyway, I heat embossed it in white. This is my Simon Says um, Stamp White Embossing Cutter. And 
and I it's the only one that I have like this but I have trouble opening the lid like in closing the lid like it gets stuck or something so what I did here is I just started to layer up my papers and you'll see that I used the parts of the paper that had the the hole in it because I knew it was going to cover them why waste the paper so like this background the the red snowflake background I just covered up the one hole and then here on this one you see that hole up there in the corner by my finger I cover that up with the snowman so I have extra pieces left over in my pad um, for future use that don't have a hole in them so here I just put the snowman down and then I did add some foam tape to the sentiment strip that I used I probably should have went all the way to the end and then um, trimmed it off but I, I didn't think ahead like that so here I put this down on my card and then I realized that it just didn't have foam tape all the way to the edge so I snipped off a little piece and then put it underneath and then trimmed everything off I mean it was fixable everything is fixable it's only paper so here I added it to my black uh, mat added some black lace pen to my snowman's eyes and the eyes on the cute little mug and put some white gel pen details in to hopefully hide my mistakes because there were lots of them and that is my card there you go you can see the coloring there and how I fixed the background or at least I think I fixed the background I'd love to talk to you in the comments and definitely check out scrapping for less they have some great products and they're they're pretty good priced I appreciate them thank you for stopping by and as always give cards generously